previously on Zombie War. The factory, as uh, Danny said, is coming into view on your left, and you actually see some cows and pigs mm -hmm. alive out in the yard. It's fenced in with like a wooden or like a mesh fence that surrounds the place. They're you know, in like, the fesh fence, or are they wandering outside? They're the, inside the, the facility. Okay. In the, you see, the person comes charging right at you, and you go, poof, knock it to the ground, and she falls to the ground. So it's a she. We've established that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mary. How are you doing? You guys, I'm Mike. you guys finally decided to show up. And she yep. starts getting a bowl and pouring you some stew. I'm like, I'm good. Um, I'll, I'll take a sip of the water and I kind of just mess around with the stew and then I kind of look at Ensign. Just to let him know. Okay. I gotta right. go to the other page. Do you know, do you know how, do you know how much one cow, if you slaughter it right, how much that is in meat? Yes. It could feed us for probably a year. If we had right. vegetables, go with it. Right. Now, I've asked you nicely about negotiating for animals that weren't yours to begin with. So what and I'm willing to do me? that, but you're not willing to. So at this point, I... She hasn't still pointed at you guys. At us? Yeah. She fucked with me. <laughs> Wait, what? So Mary has her so. gun pointed at us? Just gonna yeah. say I told you so. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Mary. God damn it, Mary. And she's like, she she signals to the, the lead guy there. Thanks for coming on time. They almost killed Betty. Hey everybody, welcome to another night of Twilight 2000 Zombie War. It's been a while, but we're finally back. It's hard to uh, keep it going, especially when we're going bi-weekly. If a couple guys can't make it, then it's like a month before the next sessions. But we're not giving up. Uh, Chris has some work business the next two sessions so he'll be gone but we picked up another guy if you remember him from uh heart of darkness alien rpg was his last visit and we're glad to have him back special guest kai and uh i hope he stays we'll see <laughs> <laughs> welcome and, yeah so uh yeah we're pretty busy this week got the mork board got this and then we got basin actually basin might be canceled tuesday i got a one guy i think can't make it if that's the case then another mork board will be coming out 
Tuesday. So, with that, we're starting a little late today, so uh, I'll just get right to to the action. Start introducing the characters. We'll start with um, Dan. You're a muted Dan. I am very sorry. All right. Hi guys. Um, my character is uh, Mike Tango 17 Lovell. I am an American uh, ex US Army Special Forces and um, I was working with the CIA um, Special Activities Division uh, to go into Sweden and kind of mess up with the logistics. And that's kind of uh, where I think we found out last time that uh, my unit had all, uh, they all kind of passed away. And um, so I ended up joining this group and uh, I've been with them ever since. Um, uh, pretty much I'm a kind of quiet guy and um, my expertise is getting the job done and uh, very good with my M4. And uh, I forgot uh, Dan and Father, you could add uh, three experience to your total for last session. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot to ask. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, Father, your turn. Uh, yeah. So Father Jay play Anson Seward. Uh, he is a uh, Army Special Forces Green Beret uh, that uh, was part of the a uh, little bit of a task force of, you know, unit that was responsible for protecting the hospital in Skara when unfortunately the outbreak of zombies occurred and we wound up taking refuge in the hospital when we wound up seeing an overhead jet drop a bomb that wound up nuking the city. Managed to uh, get into the basement just before the wave hit the building. Stayed a couple of days, left, got to get away from the nuclear radiated city, got across the uh, river after running across some marauders and zombies. After uh, Dan, his character taking a <laughs> a dip, uh, so we wound up uh, losing Tango for a little bit there, but uh, you know, wound up uh, making it back. So I was glad to have Mike not succumb to the to the waters. Um, and then we ran across a Russian patrol, and that Russian patrol had said that they had an antidote for the zombie virus. Uh, long story short, uh, once we accosted them and. Then we also had our lieutenant colonel was starting to act a little weird. Uh, Eric wasn't feeling well. And, and then we continued on down the road, got to what used to be some sort of factory farm or something like that, uh, broke in. There was a mother, daughter. We started talking to them. Some soldiers wound up coming against us. And right as we were fighting them off and... My character got knocked down, Anson, and the uh, mother and daughter were cowering behind the bar. Eric wound up turning, and so now we have to deal <laughs> with Eric turning. And uh, unfortunately, you know, all three of us wound up getting captured by uh, what evidently is uh, militant vegans that didn't want us to uh, take their, their cows and animals. <laughs> so currently our characters are... <laughs> are <laughs> captured and don't know what's going to happen so it'll be interesting to find yeah. out okay and finally we have guy how you doing um my character is hector munoz i am a war correspondent i've reported on many many conflicts over the past two decades and this was going to be a one of my my final perhaps tours um, i was embedded uh, with a unit in litkoping uh, when um, things started to go south uh, some kind of biological agent was released uh, causing total disruption I was uh, trying to figure out what was going on i got lost um separated from the unit i was embedded with uh and then the bombs hit. I've been trying to make my way uh, back as far away as possible from the nuclear radiation zone and uh, find any kind of reasonable shelter. 
uh, luckily I've been able to make my way and I've, I've hid uh, and haven't really been caught up in any of the atrocities. But, you know, I'm documenting everything because this is a war crime um, and I'm going to tell the story when I get out of here. All right. And with that, let's begin. It's been two days and you guys have been treated like animals in this small, tiny cage. They tried to feed you, but you refused to eat. You still have your the zip ties tied behind your back and your legs. You're dirty, you're stinky. This whole place is just horrible. You guys talking or anything? Chris, or what's his name? Uh, Danny Lovett. He is not responsive. He's just lying down. You gotta keep strong, Danny. You hear me? Don't give up. Ensign, um, I, I keep trying. Uh, I cannot get out of these zip ties. How are you doing? I'm not able to break them right either. Mm. I'm, a, I'm still gonna try and look for something to rub them up against or something. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna try. There's got to be something around here. Um, can I do a? Uh, can I do a search? See if I can spot anything that I can use, or maybe gleam something from the surrounding. Uh, give me a recon roll. Recon roll. Any modifiers? No. Okay. Two hits. There's nothing in your cage, but you see rocks and bones scattered about on the floor in front of you. Are you able to reach through the cage to try and grab them? You're tied. You got like, like, can we back up to the cage edge and kind of try and <clears throat> behind us? Doesn't look possible. Yeah. But as you're uh, trying to do that, the door opens and you hear. You see uh, the man you've seen last few days walks in. He gives. He has a tray of food four balls on gives one to him one to you puts it through your hole in your cage you better eat up now you're not gonna last too long what is this what are you giving us what is this have we been eating the last two days by the way well oh we have let you decide have you guys been eaten the last two days. If you wow. haven't, you'd be the starving condition. Yeah. All right. So your choice. I think um, I'm, I would have. You, you go first. Yeah, I was gonna say, is being that I didn't eat the stew because I didn't trust them. Yeah. Um, because I thought that they'd be putting something in the stew. Um, for sure, like the first day, I don't think, I don't think I would have been the first one to eat, you know? So like, I would have been like waiting for one of the other guys to cave and like, okay, they're going to put something in that guy's food. Maybe I might trust him. So on this day two, 
if somebody ate during day one, maybe I might be more likely to eat just to get rid of the starving condition. Because I feel like Danny would have eaten, mm. right? Uh, maybe he he was okay day one and he probably got sick or something, uh, maybe unrelated to the food. So if Danny ate, I think by like day two or something, um, uh, Mike would have eaten as well. Okay. Uh, this guy that's over here, he's gulping it down. And so you you have to eat like a dog, basically. You have to lay on your side, mm -hmm. licking it, you know. He goes, yeah, that's nice. Chow it down. And he leaves. Can I ask what the condition of these trays are in? Or they have like sharp edges? No, he had a tray and just took, gave you each a small bowl. Oh, okay. Well, what about the bowls? Are they ceramic? Or are they uh, got any uh, chips? Metal. Okay. They're like oh. bent, bent metal. Rolled, old, rolled edge. Rusted. Yeah. Uh, you said there was another person here with us? Yeah. Is that what you well, said? There, there's this Danny. Here. You see him? Uh, I just see a map. Yeah, I just Am see I... the map. The map of Sweden okay. is what's active. Oh, I didn't I didn't even get you here. Shit. Yeah, you need to activate it. There, <laughs> there you, you go. go. Cages. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, uh, okay, is so he in the... There's... So he, He's in the cage near us. He's not in the same cage. Yeah, he's uh, okay. he's like a few cages away. So I'm I'm gonna scream. Hey, buddy, is there? How are you doing there? Is there anything in your cage you can use to to maybe get out? Any bones you can throw us? Is he even zip tied? That'd be the question. Yeah. Are you even zip tied? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he he's zip tied like the rest of you. These guys are nuts. These guys are crazy, man. You know, what crazy did they do those to you? vegans was in the old world. They're even crazier now. Yep. Well, um, what the, how long have you been here, man? Not much longer than you. Maybe a couple days before you came here. At least they uh, give us food, but I wish they get these damn ties off me. It's hurting my yeah. hands, man. Getting you don't have no anything sharp. You don't have anything sharp to rub up against in your cell. No, I, I tried, man. I did break it off, but then they just came and put another one on. Hmm. Do they tell you what they wanted from you? Why are they keeping you here? Why are they keeping us here? No, I keep asking. They're not telling me nothing. How, th how thin is the bull's metal? He said it was rusty. Does it is it like so rusty that it looks like you like like you could break it open sort of thing? Or, or at least no, crack it, just it. rust spots you could scrape okay. off if you try to like bend, it bends yeah it bends Does, not just, really what I'm looking yeah. for hmm and do you have any ideas man we've been stuck here for two days I don't know what they want from us this seemed kind of crazy yeah tell me about it um so I have a quick question Probably gonna shoot I, us I, in I, the head. I, I assume these zip ties are fairly tight. Yeah, they're firm, tight. Yeah. Yeah. It's like these people don't have any mercy for you. Yeah. Well, I was just trying to think of like how realistic it would be to break a thumb to be able to get through. Can you ever run across I, that? No, I don't. I don't see how that would do anything. Part part of what happens with the the way that the the hand is, is if you 
break the lower bone in the thumb, right? Then depending on how tight the zip tie is, you basically can then get your hand into that more sausage shape to get through it. But you have to break your thumb to do it. Not desirable per se, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd have to fill in a, in a an empathy roll. You'd have to fill an empathy empathy roll and break your thumb, which would give you a minus penalty. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I. But I'm just looking at the options here. That's yeah. I'm just saying. That's just saying. I don't yeah. want to break my thumb if I don't have to. Okay, um, but can, can we role play that? Can you can you tell me what you're doing so I can kind of respond to that? I have sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'll just sit there and go. Uh, these things that uh, I think they're too tight to do the break the thumb maneuver. Um. Yeah. I, I really don't agree that you should do it, Anson. Because if, if you do it, uh, I don't know if having you with a broken finger could get infected. You know. Um, we don't know what these guys want yet, so I think just just hold on breaking your thumb for now, okay? If it get, comes worst case scenario, then we can the, consider it, but it, not right got, now. It's been it's two got days. the swollen lip and the beat up eye from the two days of getting beat. Uh -huh. like, uh -huh. I'm just looking at options here. <laughs> okay, I mean let, let's just let's just wait it out, see what they want. This guy across from us has been here longer than us, so it doesn't seem like they want to get rid of us right away, right? They they probably want something or. Let's see what they want. Mm. Uh, you would think after two days they would have told us something. A few hours pass. Door opens again, and there's a few guys that come in. And they go over. It's time to go there, pretty boy. They open his gate. They take it. No, where are you taking me? You'll find out soon enough. You'd go see the boss. And they cart him out. And then they're gone through the door, shut the door kind of thing? Yeah. All right. I'll go, Mike, if they do that again, there's only three of them. Mm-hmm. We need to be ready to try and do something. Okay, I mean, that's not a bad idea. There's three of us, but Danny seems I, to be out. I don't, yeah, I don't know if Danny's going to be able to help, but if we can just do the, like, we're worse off than we really are, and then, you know, do the whole, you know, headbutt thrust, you know, try and maybe, you know, get at somebody's knife and cut these bonds or something, I, I don't know. Okay, I mean... I, I don't trust these militant vegans not to be doing some sort of... <laughs> He kind of like spits out some blood or something from <laughs> to be uh <laughs> how do you say uh like they won't hurt animals but they have no problem eating people you know what I'm saying oh boy I mean they're, okay. they're crazy well, so who knows that, that that would not be good I don't want to be eaten yet so let's let's see um I'm down. If you're if you're willing to to fight, I'm down. So I have a question. So I'm assuming that there's no bed, there's no furniture. It's just a, literally just the jail cell. The yeah, the, that's yeah. a cold concrete floor. There's nothing. It's like swept clean. Just blood uh, stains. Is, is, all is there? Over. Yeah. Is there a window? No. Okay. There's nothing. Yeah. Yep. Well, based on that information, uh, in, unless by some reason, like, you know, could I like try and can you fit it like a, a, a foot through the bars and get like a leg to try and, you know, like reach out to one of the bones or something that you said is out there and kind of kick heel, drag it. No, because we're all the, a leg or zip tied too. Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. We're, zip -tied. we're, we're kind of yeah. tossing around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not taking any chances. They know you're uh, warrior, combat soldiers. Anyways, so we'll say. Yeah, uh, have to wait. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we'll we're, uh, we're going to wait. Then you wait, and uh, <laughs> the next day arrives. And uh, 
another three come in. And they take, what's wrong with your friend there? Wake up, but, wake up. But you wind up beating him for two days and don't feed him very well. He's not going to respond very well. You're lucky you even less of responding very well. I don't feel like moving. And talk to you. Why don't you shut up? He says, "Come here and make me." Yeah. So they open your cage, and three of them grab you. They drag now. Are you. we all in the same cage, or we're in different? Yes, cages? I thought we were in the same cage. No, you're each in your own yeah, cage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They're uh, like okay, uh, okay. we're used for like pigs, small, mm -hmm. can't even turn around, type deal. And they take you out. Are you doing okay. anything? Just well, okay. So the so the chance of me doing something really depends on how they're carrying me out. Are they like you know like carrying me like one's got the arms, one's got the legs, or are they letting me do like a hop maneuver, or how are they getting me out? They're dr dragging you. Okay, so they're just dragging. Yeah. Um, Two guys are. Dragging, like under your shoulders, e either shoulders, yeah, and okay. dragging you, mm -hmm. and one guy is standing behind. Yeah, I don't like that position, so I'll just find out where they're dragging me to for right now, before I do okay. anything. But before they go, I'm just gonna yell over, "Where are you taking my friend? Let him go. Where are you taking him? We're coming back for you. Don't worry. Why don't you take we'll him see now? Your soon enough. Why don't you take him now? Two for one. <laughs> Let's go, take me. So they take Anson out. And then they come back for Dan. Same thing. Doing anything, Dan? Mike? Um, if it's the same way, I'm just going to see how it goes. Okay. I'm going to observe. Mike hasn't heard any screaming from either of us, like myself or the previous guy, right? <laughs> Where is this going to lead to? Shop shop. <laughs> <laughs> you don't come to you, you don't make your home in an industrial like farm and then not have something and then be militant vegans and have, I, I don't know. I just, yeah. <laughs> they drag you through dark, musty corridor and open the door. You can see the light. The sun seems to be setting. They drag you across the courtyard and into a bigger building. There seems to be big machinery in this building. Now, we, we did kind of scout the buildings. Is this the one that's uh, to the, um, well, from the way that the map was, is this the, the bigger one that was to the left, uh, to left, the west of the Yeah, house? south, south, if you're looking at the map. Okay, south. south, south. south do, do we oh, know that we're in the same place as we were when we got captured? Well, as soon as we got dragged into the courtyard, we would take a look around, right? Okay. Unless they got our heads bagged. We can see, yeah? They take you into this chamber. Okay. This big chamber. And you start to get a little worried because you see this big, giant man who has, it seems like he's been through a lot. He's got burnt scars all over his face and body. He must have been in a fire somehow. He's got a amputated arm that has a big giant hook hanging from it. And he's holding a giant meat cleaver with blood <laughs> all over it. And that oh, boy. man that you've seen the other day, he is lying over a tub with his hands tied 
and is he's just sitting there over this metal tub and they look he looks at you as the guys drag you in and they set you aside right beside him uh, So the only person we see right now is the is the big guy, or do we see anybody else? Uh, that's all you see at the moment, because the guards come in and they leave you. With the big guy alone. Well, they stand against the door. They each got a rifle on them and they're just standing guard on the door actively watching inside or just yeah. standing with okay yeah then um. um you see a man walk in walks slowly confidently He has a big, long, stick-like bat, leather jacket, big brown scarf. He's got a scar, too. And he's got a big black mustache. He's looking at you with a little smirk on his face. Are we pissing ourselves yet? Boy, I have a feeling we're getting close. Gonna be pee 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 pants city here real soon. Which one of you pricks is the leader? Uh. I choose to stay quiet, not say anything. Just look at him in the face, straight in the face. Just kind of stare. Don't answer at all. Come on. Which one of you is the leader? You can tell me. I thought you guys are brave soldiers. You're going to be a coward now? Silence from the both of us. No words. Well, if that's the way you want to take it, I thought I'd get some fun out of you. But I guess I won't. You meat eaters have been tormenting animals for centuries. Now, It's time for the animals to come back. You see, there's not enough food here for all of us. We don't want to eat meat, but we got to eat something. And that something's you. Which is meat. Yeah, but it's not, so they say. factory animal meat and they gotta eat too so we cannot feed you to them also right so you're hypocrites oh we're we're vegan we just redefined the term we could Can we're allowed to eat human meat now that's it We gotta eat so something. Mike is like, Mike is like, a little bit shocked at this revelation that these vegetarians are <clears throat> being meat in the terms of human, but kind of like accepting it. Um, 
Okay, he he feels that he needs to get out of here. ASAP. Um, oh, yeah. Can I take uh, a can, can I take a uh, uh, a searching roll or like a observation roll, a recon roll to see if anything is around here? Because I mean, this place looks like there could be something. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Like uh, anything, um, anything that's sharp that can be used to wind up cutting slash breaking the zip ties. Because if we can kind of keep his attention talking, the other person can kind of just maybe slowly get rid of the zip ties. Even just the legs would help. Okay. Um, just as you're looking around, um, each of you uh, give me recon roll. Mm-hmm. Straight up, I assume. Yeah, I'll let you know if there's any mods. Yep. yep. I got a one. Success. Uh, Mike got no successes. You okay. can technically push. No, I don't push. You don't want the stress? <laughs> <laughs> um, vegan says, well, you guys aren't fun at all. He nods. And the butcher man comes walking up to this guy. He looks at, looks him in the eye. He's looking at the butcher. The butcher uh, takes his hooked hand and swings it hard, knocks him on the head, boom. Kind of knocks him cold, then he grabs his head, pulls him back, and takes the butcher knife and slits his throat and throws his head, throws him over the tub and he starts bleeding in the tub. You two get uh, three potential stress. Roll. Um, Off. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Coolness under fire. Do we get unit morale since uh, we're seeing each other? Yeah. And we'll, I have a question. Since, because <clears throat> our unit morale uh, had been an A, I assume being captured would have dropped a unit morale down to B for the quote unquote defeat. I'm not sure. If you know Cause... that rule, then. Go yeah, ahead. well. Yeah, technically it goes up and down as you get positives and negatives for your group. So I would assume that the unit morale would not be an A, being that we were captured. Mm. Would, is that fair? Put it at a B? Oh, uh, sure. Do, do we change it to B right now? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. See, okay. and then that's and then, then that's my next question is because I can see Mike and he can see me, then we would get uh, we would get the unit morale roll. I'd because we're together, right? I mean, that's a GM call, really, honestly, I think, uh, in this situation. Actually, just give the normal, just to make it easy, just for now. All right. That way. All right. All right. Yep, I have no problem with that. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, I am definitely pushing that. Uh, so, does stress take you to the zero? Uh, Are you full? <laughs> if I still have the the uh, three from before, then yeah, then I've maxed out on the on the stress. Oh, you're maxed. Yeah. Because I had I had like, uh, hang on a second. This is moved up. How come I cannot push this roll? Right. So I, I have know. a question. How many hit points would I have? Because I was at zero at the beginning of the capture. Would, uh, what would my hit points be? You're, like you four? Ate. They would be full. All your hit points would be full because you guys ate. Hit points are okay. Whole, so, yeah, you spent so a my, few days in there. Okay. So that it's all technically healed up, technically? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. I'm yeah, as as, and that would be the same for stress or would the stress have not healed as well 
Uh, healed, but one for just being oh. in there. Uh, okay, well then my stress only went up to four, so with the potential three that I just, or with the three that I just took. So I'm not maxed out, but I'm only one away. Okay. So I took, I had one previously, and then I took three more, so I am at max capacity four stress. You're at max? Yep. Okay. I only so, have four total. So you're, you're pretty much panicking right now. Okay. Okay. And you want to get the fuck out of here. You're like trying to struggle. Like you don't know what to do. There's, you feel like there's nothing you can do. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen, I guess Mike has seen a lot of, of combat, but I think the idea of a human being eaten and the fact that he cares so much about his teammates and people he's around, even though this guy isn't a teammate, but, you know, maybe being in captivity for a couple of days with this guy has given some kind of slight bond. Just seeing this guy being gutted and knowing that he's going to be eaten and then being fed to animals, it just freaks Mike out. And he's just trying to, like, struggle. He's just wiggling. He's just going crazy right now, screaming. Um, just out of his mind, not able to control himself. Yeah, and... Uh since you are maxed on stress when you go to sleep next in case i forget you got to roll for empathy um if it fails you get a long-term or permanent mental trauma okay and uh anson you're looking around frantically and uh, when the guy beside you head flops into the tub and he's bleeding out in the tub, his hat falls off. And inside his hat is a little blade. Whoa. So the blade Mother. just rolls. Mother possible you had this the, whole time. The bottom of the tub. <laughs> Dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> you paid for that mistake. <laughs> then the door of the chamber suddenly opens. And you hear her screaming, uh, get your get your hands off me. Get it. And you see uh the two the guys. They bring Eva. Yep. Ah. <laughs> Got oh. the dog. <laughs> and he's like, oh boy. What do we got here? While he's distracted, beautiful. While he's distracted with that, can I like roll or kind of scooch to where that blade fell? Yeah, this the butcher's attentions to her too. They can't uh, take okay. their eyes off her because she's kind of beautiful. But uh, and uh, yeah, so yeah. I'd like to obviously work as fast as I can to free my hands if I can with the blade well you're looking at the blade right right your hands are behind your back right so I'd have to like fall down into like, the tub it, not into the well because it fell outside the tub right oh okay all right right so I'd have to like like fall down or like gently go down because I don't want to like make it like flood and they pay attention to me. <laughs> and like, so, like grab I'm, it with okay. your mouth, or are you gonna try and just break mm -hmm. free of the straps? No, no, no. I'm gonna try and like okay. There's the blade. I'm gonna fall so that my hands so I can grab the blade, and then start doing the you know. Oh, um, can, can like even though I have max stress, can I kind of? Think through scenarios, or how does no, stress work no. in this game? Yeah, you, basically, yeah, you miss your turn. You're yeah. panicked. Okay, so I, I'm your... I'm out of it. I'm just wiggling. Like, just oh like... my god, I'm freaking out. Okay. I got You're it. in the headlights, essentially. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't help you. So you're gonna no, like no. just fall in the tub with the back of your hands going over the knife, basically. You. So the wait a second. So the knife is in the tub. Yeah. Ugh. 
Uh, so is this like a like a cast iron foot tub, or is this like a like a normal? Yeah, yeah. it's a cast. Okay. It, no, it's like a stainless steel tub. Okay. Um, crapping at. You could try to break free, uh, especially if you. It's got minus three penalty to break out, um, but if you dislocate your thumb by uh, failing an empathy roll, I'll give you a minus one to it. Um, I don't like the odds of trying to do the, uh, you know, uh, apple in a tub dive and try and get it with my mouth, nor do I like the dive into the tub you know, sideways where the blood and the blade is. Neither one really appeals to me as being uh Well like I said, doable. you could you could fall into the tub, right? Yep. Like roll into it with your back yeah. on the floor of the tub and your hands well, over the blade. Correct. But if this blade fell into the tub where this guy's bleeding out into there's all sorts of blood. It's going to be slippery. It's going to be really tough to do. I think I have a better chance doing the minus breaking out than I do of realistically getting this blade and using that before okay. they get to me. So I'm going to do the the trying to like like whatever I'm next to and then like use my weight to like push down and do the break thumb on my left hand. And then see if I can pull it out of the zip tie. So roll empathy to try to break your thumb. I'm just gonna yeah. say you, you dislocate it, not break it. Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. All that right, empathy, better. and I have to fail it. This this will be interesting. All right, so empathy straight up. You're gonna push it. Failed. You're gonna push it. <laughs> Why would I push it if I'm supposed to fail it? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. So Do yeah, it. no, fail it. <laughs> and now you got a minus one to your uh, close combat. Was like, yeah, I was gonna say, is that close combat? Yeah, right. strength would be uh, too hard. Minus one. Come on. Yes, that's one. Okay. Yeah. So which, <laughs> which thumb, which hand? I had said my left because I wanted left. to make sure my I didn't okay. mess up my trigger hand. So if I ever get a hand on a weapon or a knife, I want to have my primary good to go. So your hands dislocated. Your thumb is you mm -hmm. grab, you wiggle, you secretly, yeah, slowly to the uh, get well quickly because things are gonna go south okay. like I'll somebody somewhere. But I just but. Like you said, secretly, like, I'm not going to, like, ha -ha! <laughs> <laughs> more, more like that quiet. Yeah. Yeah, because this guy is right next to you, and he's got this right, right. big butcher blade, right? Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and Vegan is, like... Uh, I'm assuming he's... He's got the, you said he's got the big spike club, but does he have like any sidearms on him or anything like that? Well, you can't tell if he does. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't Maybe see Maybe under his anything. jacket or something. Yeah. yeah. He's like, don't be scared, my baby. You can join the rest, my woman. I treat all of you like queens. So, yeah, you're going to have a good life. Now, as he's saying that. <laughs> Uh, uh, is the big butcher guy still paying attention to him and Ava? Yeah. Uh, with the positioning of where he's at and the tub, is it possible that I could and then try and get the razor blade out of the tub without him noticing? Or is it like a deeper tub that would be a very drastic movement that he would see? It's up to you. You want to try. Um, well, is he it? Could, a, he could see you move suddenly. Like, like regardless, right? Yeah. But what he's I'm saying in is in your direction. Yeah. Um. Then you got 
stand between you. And then Eva's like, I'll never, ever be with you, you scumbag. Um. Oh, you will, honey. You will. Um. Is 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 the butcher guy just having the the butcher knife at his side? He uh, like down, or is it like prepped and really like it's got a good hand on it? Well, vegan turns to the butcher and nods. The butcher looks at Dan. Walks it's up to him. Shit. I was gonna say, he's ra- as... raising his okay. spiked hand what? to try to knock him out cold uh, uh as soon as he does that can um well i still got my legs pinned right with the zip ties yeah kit um can i act yet or am i still like do i have some control over my body yet we'll say it turns past and uh you can act okay so Let's say that I've kind of noticed that um, Ensign has has taken his arms. Like I've noticed that he's pretty. He's right next to me, so obviously I wasn't really paying attention to Ava that much. And um, as I'm slowly recovering, I've noticed that he's kind of got his hand out a little bit, right? So I realize that, and hopefully I notice the uh, the knife that fell in into the tub. So. My idea is I'm going to play out my stress even more, get even more attention on me, maybe kind of just jump up and, and look like I'm freaking out even more to get attention away from Ensign so Ensign can maybe go into the tub and get the knife. Okay. So just you, try to get you're as doing much this attention and, uh, as possible. The butcher grabs the scruff of your head and hold, trying to hold you in place as he raises the... It, okay, so if he's grabbing him by the scruff of the hair and he's going to hit him with his hooked hand, what happened to the butcher knife? He's got it in his other hand, if you see. He's holding him with the, the hand. His other arm is replaced with a hook. Yeah, he's sort of got the, the butcher knife and holding that against his head uh, as okay, he holds okay. his head. You know what uh, I mean? You I, could do that. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. He's kind of like, like this, pushing right? the, this is the, the knife, knife on his head while he grabs yeah. his head. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, uh... Can, can, um, yeah. can I do like like a... um, Kind of like a... a a struggling role or kind of like a wrestling role to kind of like make it as difficult as possible for him to to grab me pull as much attention away he just looks at you raises his head and he's just going (laughs) yeah (laughs) what are you doing father uh, the, the, the last the, the the last moment I'm gonna wind up lunging. Okay, so if I'm picturing this right, he's got like the hilt of the blade on top of his head as he's grabbing onto the hair, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and this is, is I the chance of getting the blade in the top I, I just I'm gonna go for what I see. And I'm going to, like, have one arm trying to, like, you know, uh, block. I want to try and grab for the knife and pull it away from the the lock or the hair that he's got on Dan. Or at least, like, Dan, jump forward now. Like, and then try and, like, angle. Like, if I can try and grab it and then, like, lunge it and then get it to try and stick him with his own knife. Okay. The, the butcher knife that's grabbing my head? Yes. That knife? Okay, okay. Yes. So he, you go to do that, you, and then just as you're about to do that, you hear this, and you feel at the same time you hear a big explosion 
And then... The whole wall blows right in. And then Vegan and Eva, they all fall to the floor. And he gets up and takes her, runs out the door along with the soldiers. The butcher falls to the ground and it's kind of slower to get up. And I immediately like start bashing on him to keep him down. So close combat roll to a downed opponent? Does that make sense? That's essentially what it would be unless I'm down as well. And then you see Kai, or not Kai, uh, what's his name? Hector. 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 Yeah, where is Hector here? Get him in here. There we go. Hector comes through the hole that was made in the wall. Yeah, you probably just see uh, a scarf and a uh, a flak helmet, right? Um, at the moment, as I'm, I'm, I'm running through, um, you know, I come out of the, the dust. Uh, I have a, a pistol in my hand um, as I'm you know, running through the debris. Do, do I see the butcher do i see you know immediately do i do i notice them in that scene or is it just to oh yeah you see him it's too dusty and, and smoky no the dust settled and still yeah. smoky but you charge in pointing your gun or whatever trying to shoot anybody that's in your visual range but you see nobody you see a couple guys run out the door but you see this big guy with <laughs> on the ground and uh, yeah, one guy leaning over the tub dead and the two soldiers tied up. Okay. One, not, one not as much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I probably don't even notice that you're not necessarily as tied. Right, right. But I, I see the sort of... Um, that and beat up and... Yeah, well, I definitely see the maniac in, in, in a white um, white apron. Um, and uh, I, I guess I, I scream, um, you know, just, you know, uh, put down your weapons, surrender, hands over your head, uh, as I start walking forward with the gun towards towards him. But I, I do, he still has a weapon in his hand, right? Do I see like some crazy butcher knife and all this insanity? Like yeah. this yeah. horrible scene? Yeah. That's what you okay. see. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the. Oh, he, I don't know how many accents I could take. I think that's that would be my entrance, right? Well, you you got time. Uh, he's slowly starting to get up. As I said, I'm gonna try he's and as soon face. as he was down, I'd be trying to like keep him down. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get an action turn now. He's slowly starting to get up. Okay. Um. All right. So I'm gonna take a. And it, sorry, but here's, I don't, I don't, I'm assuming this rules are somewhat similar. Can I get an, an uh, aim slow action? Yeah, uh, it's actually a fast action. Um, um, it's similar. I'm to sorry, aim, it's a fast action. Yeah, yeah. But in this okay, game, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. In this game, okay. you got a automatic minus two penalty unless you aim. Right. Uh, and then okay. it's the, if you want to call the shot of where you hit them, it's a minus two. Okay, there's, Wait, there's um, no cold shots, so I'm taking a fast action aim, and if I see him not responding to me... Um, you don't see... Oh my he gosh. Just, he's just, like, slowly getting up. He's kind of taken back by the force of the explosion. He's trying to get... He's just getting his senses back to him. So I keep on yelling. I mean, in fact, I'm, I'm not even... I, I'm, not, I'm not a killer, though, so... I got to take my aim action and then as a fast action. And then is this cold shot, is that another type of fast action then? A cold it's shot just, is a fast action, yeah. Uh, you could mm. go with specific parts. If you don't go for a specific part of his body, then it's random roll. Yeah, there's such... 
Right. So the, yeah. the, call, the called okay. shot is just the shot. And to shoot yeah. the gun is a slow action. You get a fast action okay. and a slow action in the round. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Thank you. No. Okay. I just wanted, I didn't know what where, what category the, the called shot would be. Okay. So I'm going to yeah, take. Just whether or not you're taking that extra penalty to specifically hit a location. That's all. Um, nope. Um, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. So I don't really know what's going on. I see this guy. He looks armed, but, um, my guy is not really a sort of soldier. So I, I, I'm pretty freaked out. But what I see is I probably see the, 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 the bloody body next to the tub. Um, and I freak out, but I'm actually going to try and take a cold shot and I'm going to not hit him center body mass. I'm going to try and, and shoot out his leg. Right. So I'm, I, I, pre, I know that's a negative four. So I guess that's what's going to happen. No, but, but I just think that seems like what I'm doing. Just be, it, it'd just be the two because be two. you did just the action aim. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Fine. If I, if, okay. If I can take an aimed cold shot, then that's fine. Okay. Yes. That's, I wasn't sure if I could do both. That's, that's, yeah. That was Correct. my my ultimate question. Okay, um, and so then I am going to use uh, my and for this, I, can I just can I just click on my weapon to to roll it? Correct, and then you would put yeah. for a modifier. You would put the negative two for the negative two. Yeah. Unless okay. unless negative you two. don't got uh, you don't got your weapon loaded. <laughs> Did you load your weapon? Because you got to really load weapons in this game. Yeah, I mean, click. Uh, no, no, I, I, the, the foundry mechanic, you actually have to put bullets into your gun. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I see. Uh, I, I, I think I, would, I did that. I, yeah, I would certainly I, I think I did that. that. <laughs> then you could just. Uh, because I, I, I have a magazine that says 15 by 15, right? Yeah. Okay. Hit, so, yeah, hit so I presume to, that. Hit to chat, like you go to your weapon and to the right. Yep. There's like mm -hmm. a little bubble box that means to chat, mm. and then the oh, weapon. Oh, send item to chat. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then you and hit oh, attack. Oh, I see. And, and there and you then have I hit attack. attack. Yeah. Yep. Well, you don't That's have to do it that way, but I like to do it because it shows everybody okay. the weapon, right? Understood. The damage and all that. Yeah, and you can add extra bullets too if you want. So you you hit him in the head. Oh, you did a call shot, right? I, I, yeah, I did a cold shot. So Mike's trying yeah. to hit him in the in the You're leg. In the leg. Yeah. Okay, that's too bad. Yeah. Could have got him in the head. Yeah, well, I could have, okay. but um, I'm not yet. A, I'm not a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> so you hit him in the leg. Uh, I think he could. And he's like, he looks at you. He's awake now. And he gets up. Oh, but he starts to get up. But uh, Anson and. Uh, I was going to say, can Mike, I get on top of yeah. him? <laughs> just, no, you're like you'd have to move towards them, right? But you're uh, kind of prone, I, basically. Right. So can I do the hop and lunge at them to be able to like lunge enough to be able to strike at them? Yeah. So um, that would be um, like close. a mobility. Uh, that, no, they got a bunch of those close combat attacks, right? Uh, diving blow. Shoving. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it would be a diving blow. Okay. And that's just going to be uh, close combat straight up, or is there a negative because of the restriction on the movement? For the legs. I don't know. It gives you a plus two modifier, but I don't even understand why you get that. But yeah, so you you just uh, you get up and you try to stagger to them and you just go to ram them. Roll close combat. Okay. You get a plus you know, two modifier. Okay. Uh, that would be three successes. Okay. So that would be damage and then plus and, two. And he falls to the ground. Dan, Mike. I'm going to dive into the tub. Uh, hands first, right? So face up and then 
try to use my hands to find that knife and maybe cut out the zip ties. Okay, give me a mobility roll. Mobility roll, Roger. Um, all right. Nice. Good. Okay, so you, you fall with your back on to the bottom of the tub. Blood's everywhere. It's soaking your clothes. You mm-hmm. smell it. It's the stench of it. Your hands feel a blade, but it's full of blood and it's slippery and you're trying to get a hold of it, trying to get it between your fingers and you finally do. We'll say um, you got one success, right? Um, yes, I got a so nine, I, one success. So you got fast action left. What do you want to do? Um, I want to Can I, can I cut, I can't cut myself out with the fast action, right? Um, no, slow action. For okay, me. so then I'm going to get a good grip on it. Can I do that? Can I just get, get a good yeah, grip? Yeah, okay, so I'll give that like a name, right? So you get a plus two next roll. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, so what, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much just paying attention, getting a good grip, getting ready to uh, cut it off. Because if I, I know that if I don't get a good grip, I'm going to lose it and it's going to fall back into the tub or I'm going to cut myself. Butcher's right. turn. He gets out from prone. That's uh, fast action. Slow action. He's going to swing his cleaver at uh, Anson. Um, you want to try diving, and Yeah, you can. Yeah, see. I was gonna say. So, so the is this a new round? Is yeah. this considered a new? It's okay. A new round. Oh, I still have my actions. All right. Yes. Okay. So you yeah, gotta, I'm gonna you try. You gotta and, say you're gonna block before I roll. Yeah. Yeah. Block. Okay. Dodge technically, but yeah. <laughs> block the shot. One hit. Okay, and then At I your close. Legs. Okay, and then I close combat back as a the opposed roll, right? Yeah. Yeah. To dodge it, he has to have one success or more than one. Just one. Each. Yeah. Oh, he uh, failed. Uh, and I can't re-roll it either. No. Uh, well, so why why can't you re-roll this? Dash. I'm just wondering. Because it's both ones, you can't re-roll ones. Oh. Okay. No, I think you. Okay. Oh, can you re- re-roll a block? Mm, mm, yeah, but they're ones, and the game mechanic is always talking about. Oh yeah, you can you can push ones. it. Yeah, you can. You push can it. push it. It says you can push blocks. Yeah, but when the the push mechanic, when it's a one, you can't re-roll ones or successes. You got two ones just now. And I got two ones, so I can't I can't re-roll it because I can't re- re-roll ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah, is my point. I guess that's kind okay. of like okay. the face hugger and alien. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, one damage. Ah, some... And now we're at. Um, Last is your thigh. Kai, right? Hector. Yeah, so Hector, Hector sees what's happening um, and he starts moving forward. He's still yelling for the. A cleaver wielding maniac to, to, to stop what he's doing and to, to surrender and you know, put his hands up. Um, and it's oh, clear yeah. that he's not. <laughs> yeah, he's um, looking. He's, uh, he just wants to kill. <laughs> just. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, care okay. if he dies. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, you know, I, I see that there's soldiers. I'm like, get, get out of there. Get out of the way, soldiers. Get, get out. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and uh, aim and shoot this time. I'm really um, having trouble dealing with the thought of killing somebody. So uh, I am going to once again do um, a call. So I'm gonna aim um, with my fast action. I'm gonna shoot my slow action, but I am gonna do another called shot. And I'm, I'm uh, gonna try and you know 
shoot him in the arm and try and stop stop him. Um, okay. From, uh, you know, arm, from the, the butcher arm? Yeah, the, the butcher arm. I'm trying to disable the arm that's got a blade on the end that he's holding the blade with, right? Actually, is the arms random? <laughs> no, I guess okay. not, right? So you're going to the butcher arm. Go ahead. Minus, okay, yeah. Minus two. Minus two, yeah. Wow. You got a hit. I would have got at his head again if I hadn't taken the cold shot. But so I try and the marksman if it wasn't for the cold shot. You're yeah. fighting your nature to kill this man. <laughs> yeah. And I do have a question. How much? So he t- how much did he take from the diving blow? I hit him because it was the plus two because of my three successes. So what did he take? Um, three damage from that. You, you gave three damage. Yeah. Right. So then Four, he had five, got... he's at five damage. Oh, okay. One top dude. Well, he's huge. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I guess I, I hit him in the shoulder, right? Yeah, Duh. he he ends up dropping the machete. Yeah, but you, you realize the damage too is his leg and his arms too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the first shot was his leg um and this next shot is his arm. So he drops um, the machete. Yeah. Um, and I'm and, I'm yeah. screaming in, in 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 half English and in Swedish I keep on saying stop, stop, surrender. <laughs> In, be- in between my it's holy ah. <laughs> <laughs> so he just right, looks so that's, at that's you my in turn. a rage uh Anson <laughs> you're uh on the uh, ground mach- machete can I grab the machete yeah the fast action I, you grab the machete fast action fast action machete slow action hit him <laughs> okay with the machete Okay. Were you aimed or? Oh, you can't. Well, I aim. can't because okay. I took the fast action to grab it. Um, and then that's uh, still close combat. Uh, no, but aim's just a minus two. If I was calling a shot. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not calling a shot because I okay. want to hit him. Okay. Mm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, I just lashing out. Ah! Um, so close combat, uh, straight up, no minuses, right? Because it's, it's uh, right there. What's the machete? It's damage three, armor plus yeah, but I'm one, saying, crit four. So. Right, but I'm saying no modifiers for the roll, though. Right? No, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that's going to be pushed. No. So uh, you take, and I uh, take the, I take damage. the uh, one damage for overstretching myself. Like, oh actually, my! Arm. Actually, actually, goes to the weapon. It goes oh to right, the weapon. Yeah. right, but, right, but, uh, right. You could drag, uh, drag a machete. Yep. To your sheet. I'm, I yeah, got, I'm doing yeah. that now. So it's like and you just, pick up the machete and you swing at him, right? And, and then it and slashes then it, against it, the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Bang. Yeah, the combat yeah. mechanics are really cool, for sure. Uh, Dan, Mike, level. Yep. Okay, so Mike is uh, struggling in the tub. He gets a good grip, and then he's just going to try to uh, cut off the zip ties and get into the fight. Okay. Uh, roll mobility for the zip mobility. ties. You get a plus two because of aim. Wow. I'm not rolling so hot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna push it. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Without, I mean, you don't have any penalty yeah. at this point. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, that- you get it. Two okay. successes. So you you're struggling. You cut yourself free, but that's all you got. Okay. So I, at least my um. I'm gonna I suggest you do off, your legs. Can can I do it in one go? I was thinking, but that's not uh, possible. Actually. Right? Actually, that's a slow action. You got a fast action. Um, I have a fast action. Yeah. Um, can I at least? Um, okay, I, I'm gonna get another good grip, and then uh, make sure that I can uh, uh, cut my zip ties on my leg next time. 
Okay. Is it? Because then at least one of us has both hands and legs free. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The the butcher. He's looking. He's shot in the leg. Shot in the arm. He's very weak. You see, and he's taking all of his strength to raise his hooked hand to try to club Anson over the head. Are you gonna block? Uh. So this is a new round again. Because he's the yeah, yeah. he's acting again. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, the big guy is the start of the round. Yeah. Okay. I was just ch- checking because technically my grabbing the machete and the hitting him that was both my actions. So if this is yeah, a new round, then new I round. have my actions. I'm you know so yeah. So I'll take the block machete Actually, and block. Actually, last him. round you blocked, so you sh- you shouldn't have yeah. been able to yeah. do that. There's no oh, action. Oh, you are round. totally right. You yeah. are totally right. Yeah. 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 Our yeah. bad. So I'm giving. So luckily, him, uh, it didn't do anything. I'm giving it. Well, he he took a few hit points off, right? Well, I took the reliability off the machete, so oh, okay. I mean, we we could we could retcon that, but it didn't <laughs> hurt anybody, so whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it all worked out. So um, yeah, are you gonna block? Uh, yes. Okay, so it's rolling. Misses. He's yeah. NPC, so I can't push. Yep, so I yeah. blocked. He swings, <laughs> you duck, and bang, rings as he hits the metal tub. And block is a slow action, right? Uh, fast. It's a fast, fast action. action. Yeah. Okay. And now we're at Hector. Okay, it's clear that he's he's not listening to me, um, and I'm sort of pleading with him to stop, um, really screaming at the top of my lungs. Um, can, but, can I can I know, scream I, I, out? I see, yeah, can I yeah. scream out really uh, fast? You free action within like five words, as long as it's yeah, short. yeah. Kill him! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, I I'm screaming, stop, stop, please stop. Um, but I'm going to pull the trigger, um, aim, and um, not going to do a cold shot. Um, although I'm. Now, you do have, uh, with that police pistol, you do have the rate of fire two. So you could technically put the <laughs> shot and the extra yeah. uh, rate of fire into it. For okay, so how do I do that? Extra... <clears throat> so when you go to do the shot, uh, mm-hmm. you would, as part of that. Uh, thing that pulls up there's a rate of fire slider and you ah, can yes, slide it, it over however many extra rate of fire you want to do based on the weapon and then that's extra bullets that you're firing down range yeah. you could okay, empty your so man gonna... easy doing that but sure whatever so dice I'm gonna you do roll, a rate of fire like, too like each is a d6 right and that's, so how that's two d6 whatever you roll so you if you roll a five and a four that's nine bullets you lose Right. Oh. But it's but it's potential for extra hit slash extra damage. But that's up yeah. to you. If you want to just do the single shot or if you want to start doing Cause, that. Because right now the, the rate of fire the rate of fire is like at zero. So if I slide it that's to a, one that's just that, one shot. That's just basically. one D six. And yeah, yeah, it, okay. if it's a success, which is a six, then it's an extra damage. Extra All right. Hit. I'm gonna I'm sort of panicking. I see that he's gonna he's not stopping. Um and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm I'm gonna sort of cinematically panic and scream, um, and almost close my eyes and and shoot the gun, <laughs> like yeah, cinematically. Okay. See see what happens. All right. Roll roll. Come on, baby. There's your leg hits. It's impressive wise, anyway. <laughs> yeah. You could push it to try and get a success. Um. Okay. Although with the uh, yeah. all, you know, correction, uh, Omega, the the one It'll, bang that's on the ammo, that would stay there, and because he pushed it, that would do the reliability down one on the gun. Correct. Yes. Yes. So you may not want to push it if you okay. don't want to risk damaging your gun. But that, I, again, I don't. That's I up don't. to you. Um, no, I just start shooting, you know, and I guess it makes sense. I kind of half close my eyes because this time I was shooting to kill, but I, I feel very uncomfortable about it. Um, mm-hmm. But suppression one, what's that? What does that do anything useful? Yeah, he's got to make a cuff roll or he's or he goes prone. Yeah. OK. All right. Well, then let's see if that happens. That's that's fine with me. OK, that's so that's 
my turn as I keep on yelling the same thing. Uh, he fails. Mm. And he's like, he ducks for cover. He goes okay. behind here. Uh, Anson. Uh, the going prone because he failed a cuff is an immediate drop. So that's oh, a drop. Okay. Yeah, it's essentially it's a drop. So that I was going to question the going behind cover okay. aspect. If he was next to something that was cover and and he dropped into cover that way, I that that I don't have a problem with that. But if he had to move to go to cover, then okay, he's there for the yeah. taking, Anson. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the ground. Uh, he's did, prone, did, did which is uh, yeah. So he's right. So it's a so it's a fast action that I have left. Oh, right? okay, right. No, right. you get a slow action. Use the fast action to block. Right, right, right. See, oh, I keep okay. thinking block is a slow. That's just my problem. A block is the fast action? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Got it. That allows so, you to attack and block. But you only get the one. Or Well, technically, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah, so Anson's going to do, he's prone. He's laying there. He's going to do the called shot right in the head with the machete. Okay. So he's prone, so it cancels out, right? So it's like even. uh, the well prone, yeah. I think it's. I don't, is I it don't a minus? Yeah. Is it a plus three? If it's, I, if I thought it was a three. Okay, yeah. then he and then, plus in, one. In, in, yeah. I was gonna say because it. I was thinking attacker um, prone. Well, it's a plus two uh, for 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 close yeah, combat. Plus three. I think plus three is prone. Plus, you're yeah. aiming minus two. You get a plus one. Well, I, I'm not aiming because I only have the slow action left because I blocked. No, remember, aiming doesn't oh, take an the, action. The, just gives you a penalty. The called shot is what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A- a- yeah, yeah. Aimed is an action. Okay. <laughs> called shot is, the, is, is, yeah, a, called is a modifier, <laughs> right? Okay. So, so, so plus three, three minus two, right? Yeah. Plus are you guys, three minus are you guys, two. Are, yeah, you guys both prone? I just want to understand, like, are you both prone or is only he oh, okay. prone? I, I envisioned that I was up on my knees. Gotcha. Okay. Actually, you're kind of prone. Imagine. You still got your legs. Oh. So that's yeah, a minus so, two penalty. Right. So okay. you're so at then minus it's, one. <laughs> so minus one. Yeah. All right. So minus one. All right. That's okay. That I want to finish good. him off. This big, just, complicated roll. <laughs> and you uh, still can't yeah, do it. And it's pushing. <laughs> I can push it. <laughs> Come on. There. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> and you chop his leg, I guess. <laughs> well, technically, that was the called shot, though, wasn't it? Oh, where'd you? Oh, you wait, called it where? Where'd you call it? Head? The head. Yeah. Okay, the head. So, yeah, you chop his head off with the cleaver. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. stay down. Oh. You're just like totally crazed and stressed. You just, you just ah, don't stop there. You just keep going and just going and vegan. going. <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh, in the distance, you uh, you hear a commotion. You hear coming from behind the door outside the room. Uh, you guys role play a minute. I'll be right back. All right. So, needless to say, I'm immediately. What's your name? As I'm cutting the 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 zip ties on my feet. Uh, um, it, it, I won't really react for a couple of seconds, maybe like 15 seconds. I'm just staring at you and, and the violence, and I'm like, You're good, you're good. It's I'm over shaking. For a moment. I'm shaking. Uh, 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 Munoz. Uh, All right, Munoz, you did great. We're, we're, we're good. We're good for the moment. All right, Mike, you good? So- uh, I'm. Uh, I cut my. I cut the uh, zip ties on my leg. I'm drenched in blood. I step out of the tub and I'm like, I give a nod to Ensign and I look over at Hector and I'm, I kind of give like a smile and a nod, like you did good, man. Right. And like, and then I slowly start coming because you got a gun, so I'm like slowly coming over. You all right, man? You good? Um. And I'm. Uh, yeah. I, I. I put the gun and I point it down towards the ground. Um. And. and uh, I sort of, I sort of turn and I vomit 
right to the side the as back. you approach. All right, yeah. sorry. <laughs> we've got um, we've got our doctor. Is was had just got run out the door, so we got to go check and find out if she's okay or not. Um, and, like you can stay here for a moment if you need a moment, but I. I need to go check that. And that, then I just turn and start running to the door to go check to see if I can what? see what happened to the dock. Okay. Do, do you need so, this? Uh, take it. Yes. I was going to say. holding the gun out. You give it to yeah. Mike. Then. Exactly. Because I would, I would have already turned around and was not thinking yeah. of grabbing the gun in that moment. Uh, yeah. So, so I, I tell Hector, Hector, calm down. Here, if you need help, give me the gun. It's what I do. Okay. Do you, do you want me to hold that for you? Yeah, yeah, you, you you can take it for now. Yeah. Um, what the fuck's happening here? What is this okay. place? We, we, so I, I take the gun. Um, I check the chamber, make sure there's a round, everything's okay. I, I tell him, look, we don't know what happened. We we came on to, uh, to this farm. There was this lady there, and then we got attacked by this militia. And turns out they're, they're militants. They're vegan militants, and I think they were trying to eat us. And and thank you so much for coming to help us. Some crazy guys, but uh, uh, my friend here, Ensign, he um, he went after Eva, which is our uh, lady medic, right? Um, I think we should follow as well. Right. So Omega, what? Move? So Omega, what happened is, you know, I cut my uh, zip ties on my feet, and and Mike did his. And then, you know, we talked to uh, Hector here and uh, I, you okay, bud, blah, blah. And then I turned and went to go to the door to check to see if I could see what happened to Eva or where they went. And in that moment, wasn't really thinking like, and Hector's like, here, take the gun. <laughs> I kind of glanced well, back he, like, oh, yeah. I already sure. left. <laughs> but I, know, I was already de deacon to the door and I saw Mike go, okay, give it to me. So I'm like, all right. Yeah, and, and then uh, Hector was freaking out. I tried to calm him down a little bit. I'm like, here, give me your gun. I'll I'll handle this. Like, I know what I'm doing with the gun, right? And trying to calm him down. And then I tell him, look, uh, we have a friend. We kind of give him a brief as quick as possible of what happened. And then I tell him, look, our friend is being uh, dragged away. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, you can update me along the way. Yeah, there's too much. Humper Dinky's marrying Buttercup and Little Lefts in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going? Out the blast hole? Or are you going to open the door? I want to find out what happened to Ava if I can. So I'm going to go look at where they ran. That, that's where I was headed, to the door. And okay. I mean, well, wherever Ensign went is where I'm going, because I have the gun now, and I'm, I'm not letting him go alone, unarmed. I mean, I know well, I mean, the guys gun, so I'm just no, no like, firearms. peak. I'm not going to, like, bravado bust through with a machete, and that's it. <laughs> Well, you slowly open the door and you see a bunch of uh, soldiers with AK-47s running down the hall towards your door. Towards this door? Yeah. Oh, hell no. It, like, duck around the side of the door. It, it, is there any way to be, like, which way the door opens to be behind? Like, the whole intention is, like, if they come through the door that I could whack at one and try and get his gun. Uh, there's... You've seen four of them, so it's up to you. You could try I that. know. I know. I, I'm saying as soon as, like, one comes through, that that's the thought. Is just because if they're already running, there's no way here that you, I could... That, that I'm could, thinking that I can get to the other you, crashed door. You could, uh... Uh, lock the door shut. Oh, yeah, well, then definitely doing that. Peek. Okay, so you locked the door. I, I was going to say, try to barricade like, it with something. Like stuff, like if there's a table or rocks or anything, just stuff it against that door. <laughs> oh, and then I'll, the yeah. Tub. So then, the tub. <laughs> and then I'll motion to Mike four coming through the door. And like I locked it. Now I'm looking for something to like put in front of the door. And And Hector just said tub, right? Yeah, if I hear you guys saying block the door, I just stare at the tub and I just say tub, the tub. <laughs> you know, is it is it bolted you know. down? Uh, it's the bolt lock. Double doors. No, no, bolt no, no uh, the tub. Is a tub. The tub is it movable? 
Yes. The it's metal tub. The, yeah. the, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm rushing over to the tub. Let's move this heavy thing. So all three door. of us are just pushing now, on, on the... Question, though, is there a window in the door? No. Okay. Nobody wants to see what's in here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, <laughs> moving it over to the door to try and block it from those guys coming in. Okay. And then, and then as soon as we do that, we should go through the the hole that Hector made and bug out and around and see if we can catch up to her somehow. And, uh, because as of right now, we have none of our gear, right? Our gear is probably stashed yeah. somewhere in this building. Yeah, yeah you got no gear. Do Unless we you want know to fight where they put our gear offhand? Mm -hmm. No. I wouldn't think so. No. no. All right. Just, uh, maybe somebody bragged, you know. And uh, Hector only got a pistol. Yeah. Should it? Um, we're going to say Hector because I didn't. we didn't have time really to think about it. Uh, say you got an AK-47 too that you don't know how to use, but you picked it up mm. uh, and you figure um, you'd give it to one of the survivors here. Sure, sure. I, I you know, I, I take the shoulder strap off um, and I'm like, look, look, I, I found it. I, I don't even know if it works. I, I, I've i never shot one of these. I, well, I I'll, take him. Uh, yeah, uh, if it's okay with you, Mike, you know, grab it and start looking it over to make sure it's working all right. Yep, that's good. Okay, and you're going to go yeah. like, grab the gun. It's got one clip in it. Um, okay. I'll grab it over from items. And is a AKM or AK-74? 74. 74. Oh, should I take the police pistol? How, how would we? So I just add it to my your gear. gear for right now, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because all your other gear is gone. Might as well delete it. Does this take uh, the 30 round? Is it a 30 round mag or the 45? I assume it's the 30 round. Whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I'll take the 30. That seems more reasonable. Okay, you go out the door. It's nice to see the outside after being trapped in that cage, but it's getting dark. The sun's starting to come down. It's, it's transition to night. I'm going to give you guys. Uh... Is it a full mag, by the way? Or is it like partial mag? Full mag. Okay, just double checking. Can you guys see there? Uh, Yeah, my character. Yeah doesn't I mean it there's it's like a light source out of the house but my character um, yeah we can it's I can it's mid dark yeah yeah but we can we can see the, the map and yeah navigate it no that's not good well you guys gotta be able to see I put vision no we, we can well look. we can see though because it's not it's not pitch black it's not like the pitch black from normal dynamic lighting. So like, I can definitely see like there's trees here and there's a house over here and there's a rock over here. So right. it's, it's dusky, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's no, me, it was fine. Well, for the stream, I was like, it's too dark. I can't oh, it's too dark get a light stream. around gotcha. you for some reason. Eh. And I could have worry about screwing around with it. Um, oh, cause by I the way is we're running for diamond, diamond lighting. That's why. Okay, we'll just go Sorry. with daylight. 
It's nighttime, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's say it's almost it's like dusk. Yet. Yeah, it's dusk. The sun's starting to set. I didn't set. expect this map to be nighttime, and it's it's set for uh, just open vision. Mm -hmm. uh, question for you: uh, <laughs> As soon as we come through this, uh, you know, because I have the AK, I'm gonna kind of be point um, in looking through this blasted door opening that Hector did. Uh, do we, you know, looking left, looking right, looking around, do I see any thing, anybody around vehicles or people? No, but you hear them from the other side of the building. You hear them running around. Go get them. They gotta be somewhere. Don't let them get away. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a, a quick, uh, Hector, what even brought you here to blow this door, <laughs> this wall? How did you know that we were in need? Look, I, I was trying to find a hiding place and I've been, I, I noticed something strange was going on here. I, I um, I, I've watched some, some people coming in out here and it, it just didn't look right. I, uh. I ran into, into somebody on a the road. They were uh, going going south. They told me to stay away from here. There was some kind of man or something called the vegans. I, I wasn't really sure what he meant. I, I didn't want to believe him. But now I definitely see the, the rumors they told me were true. It, it, something seemed fishy here. It didn't seem right. Um, and I, I saw when... You, when uh, your friend got taken here, and and when you got taken here, I've actually been staking this place out for a couple of days. Well, you have my thanks, and I hold you know hold out the non <laughs> hand for a moment and <laughs> yeah. shake or dislocated thumb. <laughs> uh, look, I I saw your car, your truck with the dog, right? Yeah. Uh, they haven't done it, and they haven't done anything with it. It's still parked where you left it. Excellent. All right. All right. We need to try and at least go there. I really want to try and find out what ha happened to the dock, but, you know, they outnumber us and we don't have a whole lot of gear. We have, you know, the one clip in this and that pistol. At least if we can try and make to, to the truck, maybe we can find some more of our gear in the truck. All right. Uh, on, on, I'm, I'm going to say... Um, if we if we look around, maybe we can find our gear. I mean, I'm gonna say they probably stashed it in the main building. I I want to say they, that put they it probably anyway. stashed it in the house, but that's yeah, just that, that's guess. that's what I meant. The the house, right. the, we, the red building, right? And we hear them on the other side of this building, right? Uh -huh. So that means they're between essentially us and the house, right? Wait, so what, the house is the the red one or? No, 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 no. The house can is to the north of us. You could ping if you want. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, sorry. Uh, yeah. Hang on. This guy. Oh, you think that's, that's the, house. the house? Okay. Yeah, okay. remember that's right, the right, one wait, that's that we're getting shot lady. up in. Yeah, yes. see? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that so, makes sense. So, what I'm proposing is my thought is to just, for now, just avoid these guys, go around, get outside, you know, go to the south, go to the south house. Right, you quickly dash across, run across the fence line, get to the point where we had breached it. Unless we can think we can get through the fence line or over you, the fence you line. You breached it. Your there. trucks to the north. I know. We breached yeah. it in the northwest yeah. corner. Yeah. yeah, the northwest, northwest corner. Yeah. So, but those guys are directly to the north of us at the moment. So, yeah. that's my thought process right now. And then we can keep a lookout and like maybe. You know, try a door, go, you know, all these these buildings were all locked up when we were here before. When I remember, because I was trying to scout out the buildings. So, um, but right now, I think we need to just boogie and then try and get to the truck and see if we can get some more gear and then not for the dock. I, I I don't know who the dock is, but I, I agree with you. Look, there's got to be at least a dozen, maybe even two dozen of them here. Which is way too many to take care of with one gun, with one mag, and one, <laughs> one pistol. pistol with half a mag. Yeah, yeah. We can't stay here long. Right. 
So, look, right. look I, if you get to your truck, um, you know, if you have more weapons, that, that's great. But, uh, you know, I, if you need to, you know, I, I've been I've been hiding out here for days. So, you know, I, I got a secret spot, you know, I don't know how long it'll take them to find us now that they're looking. But, you know, we can hole up there if you need to. Was it inside the perimeter of the fence? Um, outside the perimeter. I would have been outside the perimeter, right, uh, Omega? I, I presume I would have been kind of scoping this place out with my camera on a telephoto lens yeah, right from say, afar. Say you found and built a letter and make shit shelter somewhere yeah. outside the compound. Yeah, yeah. Because it, cause yeah, so then if, my next question is, but how did you get in? Because if you came in a different way than our fence breach on the northwest, maybe your way that you came in is closer for us to get you back You came out. in, uh, well, your shelter is near the truck northwest. Okay, so okay. he, he probably he, came in through our breach then? No, he, he went around. He went through the south. Okay, okay. so okay. My, that's my point is where did you come in through this perimeter fence? South. Uh, Omega, did I, did I cut through or did I sort of climb? Um, uh, you cut through, we'll say. You're being stealthy. Okay, why don't you show us where you cut through since you cut through yeah. on the south? Because that's closer than getting the uh, our other breach point. Yeah, yeah. Um, Omega, do you think I would have just, like, right behind this building this year? Like, right over here? Yeah, say... Or maybe this, this, yeah, right this corner the here? Yeah, that's good. Nice and... Yeah, yeah right behind this building because I would have been... Holding the barbed you know, wire fence. All right, so if okay. he just tells us that, he's like, so I'll just say, all right, on me, and I'll just do the um, the move. All right, it's colliding with a wall. Why is it colliding with a wall? What? Is there I'm a, trying to move, move my token, and it's saying that oh, it's colliding with the wall. <laughs> they I don't got know a wall if it's on collapsed. Okay, <laughs> here, I'll get, get you out of there. Yeah, just out on the street, I think, is just enough. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so then I'm just like, all right, quick to the side of the building. What? Yeah. So okay. I let Ensign so, take point, and I kind oh, of... Oh, because there's a fence in the Y, that's why. Oh, uh, okay, and I kind of usher uh, Hector behind him, and I'm taking uh, last man position. Uh, Hector, okay. uh, it, if you click on in Foundry on the left-hand side, it's the person and then the square that says select tokens. Oh, I'm going to clear all the walls. Okay. There. Shouldn't have that problem now. All right, Just so, as you're coming out, you hear a commotion coming from the sides. Go around this backside, guys. All right. So can we get to the <laughs> backside of this building as quick as possible? Oh, no. <laughs> get us. I'll give you... Where are you going? I'll give you... Uh, I just want to get, like, I would have ideally liked to go along the side of the building for, you know, like, rough cover, but there was that, like, fence line around the building. So if that's not there or if that's, like, a low wall, then I'd be hugging, we'd be hugging the building and going across to his breach point at the fence. We're going to do combat initiative. Okay. With those guys on the well, side. Well, let me be behind. Let me be behind. I want to yep, be yep. last man. Yep, yep, yep. So we'd be like that then? Okay, that makes sense. I'll roll for all you guys. And we got Hector moving first. Okay, maybe I'm just telling Hector, just go, just go, just go. Because we start just... hearing these guys behind us. Now, the thing is, you got two... Uh, it's a fast action. You can move two hexes. Plus, if you roll mobility, each success will give you an extra hex. But you get a minus two with a backpack, which you don't have. Uh, Hector, you actually have a backpack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Um, all right, so then uh, I'm going to try and move as fast as possible, right? So then I should roll my mobility check. And that is going to be here. So let's try and do that. Um, and what's the mo what would the modifier be because of my backpack? Uh, minus two. 
But you get Minus to move two. two for free. So you can move four, actually. Well, you can oh, move okay. two before you need to roll the mobility. And so if you don't want to risk, like, tripping up, falling down, then it yeah. would be just the two. Otherwise, okay, so then you it's roll just two. the mobility and possibly fail. But to go, yeah, through, yeah, but to go through your hole in the fence is going to be a, a fast action. Oh, oh, oh because okay. how many? So I go one hex, right, with mm -hmm. with my movement. So I can move a maximum of two hexes with yeah. my with a move with, with a with fast, fast movement. Action. And then the second one okay. will get you through the fence. You'll be right there. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Then that that's, I, that, no that's fine. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I won't take any any chances. It's a good point. Okay, I won't take any chances. I just get through, and I'm like over here, over here. Hurry up, uh, Mike. Okay. At first, I was going to decide on kind of just snap firing two rounds, but I saw that Hector just sprinted and he got out. So I'm just going to follow right behind him. Okay. Anson? Okay. So two and then two and then uh, a mobility. You don't need a mobility if you just want to go that far. Oh, yeah, okay. As long as you right. stick with the two in the fast action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's only it's if you want to try to get run further. more. Right. You okay, get to the then, same then, place uh, I am. Oh, th that's only Correct. two away, right? Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, can I fire and then move? Like just fire and then like quick, not aiming anything, and just fire and then two uh, hexes. You move to this side of the fence. Yes, but fire first and then move. Yeah. Or do I have to yeah, move then do, fire? You could do both. Either way. What do you want? Okay, to do? so I'm gonna fire, snap fire one round just to get their head down to know that we've got. Uh, some kind of weapon, and then I'm gonna start moving. Okay. Okay. So you have, you have to roll the ammo so, dice if you want to get suppression, right? Is no, I, I, I just want them to know that hey, we have a gun. Like, okay. keep your heads down. Right. So, uh, boom, and then. Oh, you got a pistol. And it's, yeah, and it's yeah, gonna be a modifier pistol. of minus one. Minus two. Because, Minus two. Because you're not aiming. Well, and then what's the range on that? Two? And they're four or five away. So, yeah, you're in medium range, which would be another negative one. Yeah. So, minus three? Yeah. Okay, rolling. Yes. Push it? Yeah, I'm not going to push. I, I just want them to know that they're being shot at. That's it. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to move two. Okay, so you're this side of the fence. No, you're not over. Okay, all right. Uh, Anson. Um, I'm going to move the one hex fast action to get the partial cover on the corner of the building. You know, leaning around the corner of the building. And I'm assuming that I can see the gentlemen to the uh, east of the building that are coming to the back. Uh, you could see the one, yeah. The first one? I would say you got, let me get a line here. Yeah. Uh, him. Yeah. The one guy you can get the with one. cover. He's got cover. The the one to the right? You're, yeah, the, the far one. one. And he's got, he would get partial cover? Yeah. All right, I, yeah. All right, I'll I'll take a shot at him. Um, yeah. Where's the forty, the seventy-four? And then I you know, only got a mag though. All right, I will do one rate of fire. Try and get a suppression. Where's the? Partial cover. Let me send this to chat first and do it that way. Sorry. Uh, there's no penalty for the par partial cover. It's a concrete wall, so it's three armor. So basically, you could you can shoot his leg and arm. That's it. Anything else would be 
partial cover with a concrete wall. Gotcha. All right, so uh, let's see. So the range is six, one, two, three, four, five. He's a technically range of seven, I think. Well, technically five as the crow flies. One, two, mm. three, four, five, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so short range. All right, so that's no that's no modifier. Um, but I didn't do the aim because I did the move to get into so it's partial cover. Minus two. So are it's you, minus two. Are you gonna go for a particular part? Wait, wait, no, isn't it no, minus it one in... for a non-aim shot? Minus Is two. it minus two? Minus two. I thought it was a minus one. No. Let me double check. I, I'm pretty because sure. Because I remember if I don't aim it's and age. my rifleman specialty Pist will cancel are, it out. Pistols are minus one. Pistols are minus one. Yeah. 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 Oh, but rifles are minus two? Yeah. Right. Yeah, pistols, carbines, and uh, submachine guns get a minus one modifier. Ah, uh, okay. So so all my weapons are. I, I get it now. Okay. That's page, well, it? page uh, 63. Right. So, and I'm sorry, you said it was also included carbines? Yeah. Cause yeah. Was, technically, isn't a 70, AK-74 a carbine? I would think not, because it's like a... a because of a larger barrel. caliber? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, not, okay. not the caliber. It's the length of the barrel that would kind of make it... Uh, that's true. All right, anyway. Actually, no, hold on. Yeah. Is it... Is it an FSM... Is it an... No, it's not an SMG. Yeah, submachine gun is the... SMG. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a type not a assault submachine. rifle, AK-74. Yeah, okay, so okay. that's fine. Yeah. All right, but so... But the M4 is the carbine. So negative two, because of the not aiming, it's short range. I think that's the only modifier then, because I'm not claiming yeah. a body part or anything like that. Yeah. Right. So just wanted to keep it straight and official. All right, and then and the rate of fire one and roll. Well, at least it's a hit in the oh. head. Uh, the head's blocked with three armor. So your how damage... Is it, how, how is the head blocked? It's behind the concrete wall. So it gets it gets armor level three. So, so he was in full cover? Partial cover. So what, so, the left side of his body was not covered? I just allowed his... I told you before the roll that his yeah. arm yeah. and leg is visible. Okay. All right. That's it. Yep. Yep. Fair. You could aim. So three armor. What's your damage base? Uh, the damage is two. two so. so no. It just pew, hits the concrete wall. Dust explodes everywhere. But you missed. So that's your whole turn. Uh. Yep. Soldiers come out. The kind of like got them thinking. This guy peers around. Oh, you're partial cover, too. Uh, yeah, I'm partial cover, correct. Because I just ducked around. Yeah, but you're you're sh showing because he shot, right? Correct. So he's going to shoot. So, like, your right side would kind of all be exposed. I do have a right. question. Yeah. Technically, uh, going, this is more for like a, I think more for like a window situation, but like, then this is the part that I always keep getting confused on is technically like the, you could go from, from partial or for full cover to partial cover and think about it in a, like a popping up in a window scenario. You can go from full cover, completely ducked underneath the window the partial cover to shoot as like the fast action you know to get up you do the slow action without the aim to shoot and then you have a free action to duck back into cover full cover but it, but isn't cover taking cover itself a fast action taking cover as a move is a fast action if mm -hmm. you're actually we at we, we it, haven't played cover, in a while <laughs> <laughs> right oh. exactly uh, but if oh, there is there's, there's a free action. Go from partial to full cover. Correct. And that's if you think okay. about it as being in a yep. window, right? That's mm -hmm. what they're kind of alluding to is that you're mm -hmm. already at a piece of cover and it's so yeah. easy to just duck back 
So yep. technically, where's, this, where's what page is that on? I'm just looking at the compendium, right, right in, um, in Foundry, right, at the yeah. fast and slow action. Um, I'll be back in thing. one second. So you're saying? But I mean, I definitely can see the the, the free, yeah. It definitely says free action. Like free actions include drop to the ground, drop a held item, go from partial to full cover. But your pre uh, prerequisite being that you're already in, you started in partial cover. Um, Which he didn't. And then sh shout a few words. Yeah. He didn't. He moved to the cover. I moved to the cover. So I was at the cover to get the partial cover. Technically, that's then the you same difference. Then you your head as, out and shot. And I ducked and shot. And then technically, like, again, if you think about it from a pop... I'm, I'm not saying that I pop back into cover. I, I'm just saying that in, like, a future tense, I'm wondering... Like when you pop around the corner, it's the same thing as well, like popping up in a window, and you could do free action, pop back. But the thing is, you moved in that round. That's the difference. Right. You're not and just staying no, there. It, so that's like, that's it's something not a, different. No, it's not. It's the same thing. It's a fast action move to go from either into cover or from full cover to partial cover. See, it's different if you're yeah, already yeah, in cover. Yeah. You go out, shoot, then go back. Right. This, you're running to the cover, going out, mm. shoot, then go. But you do. It's more time to do that. That's you know right. I mean? I, that's right, and that's what I was I inquiring. I'm not saying that I was in partial or full cover. I was just that was a scenario I can't question seem to that find I was that rule. I remember yeah, that no, but rule, I, but I don't know what page it's I, on. I'm looking. I can't I, see it. Right, but so I like think it makes the, sense. The next round, your next round, right? Your next right. turn, you know, you are, you know, you've you've shot, right? Like you were in cover, right? Mm. Yeah, you were in so, cover, and then you took the time, the time to shoot. Right. So he's no longer running to seek cover, right? right. Terrain so type providing cover. Page, so page here, fifty-seven. Yeah. Page 57 has the free actions that says drop to the ground yeah. is a free action, drop a held item, go from partial to full cover is a free action. So technically, if I still, uh, you know, because I was already in partial cover, it's a free action to duck back in the wall if I had mm -hmm. wanted to, but I didn't. I, as I said, I'm not saying that I was behind, I ducked back behind the wall because I wanted to keep an eye on these guys. But in a future but, scenario, scena uh, you know, situation, that was what I was trying to like rules. Like, how does that work exactly? I, I, I do think yeah, it makes sense that like now that. that you, I think uh -huh. once you got, now that you, once you got to the cover, like once you used a uh, fast action to seek cover, for example, right? So now you've then found in some partial. kind of cover. Right. Yeah. You're yeah, in so maybe, partial. So, and it says yeah. to go from partial to full is a free action yeah. because it's just a quick duck. You yeah. can't find me the page where it's at. It's 57, I said. No, that's just the the table. I need the explanation of it. It literally yeah, says okay. to go I know from there's, partial it's somewhere, to full it's is Somewhere in cover. here it explains why. I remember reading it. Okay. That's sure. what I Let's mean. Let's take it. Let's take it. I'm just saying um, this you're adding movement to it so i don't know maybe that's true but it seems like you're getting more time more actions for the money i don't know well no i mean i i, I mean i don't think you should be i, I don't think it's the i think the point is so let's page see. 58 you take a you, yeah go has ahead, go ahead. the partial cover exposing your head and arms allowing you to fire across cover going from full cover to partial cover is a fast action going from partial cover to full Full cover is a free action, but can only be done at your turn. Okay. Which, like I, I said, it, it in that scenario, would have been a if I had done it, would have been the to partial. I'm in partial. Okay. No problem. From the partial, I, get it now. I shoot, I get it now. and then free action to pop back. That's, but I didn't do that. That's the click that I was looking for. You could only yep. do it on your turn. Correct. And I didn't okay. declare that I had done it. Yeah. I knew there was something else to it. Okay. Right. Okay, so... So I'm get... still exposed watching these guys because I, I hadn't ducked back into full cover because I wanted to watch what they were doing. Okay. Well, at least we got that rule straight. 
I yeah, hate, I usually time. don't like going long for the <laughs> argue about rules, but uh, I wanted to understand it. <clears throat> yep. But, but okay. I think that it one is a good one to know for future reference. Yeah. Agreed. Because we had a oh, little oh, by bit the way, of that I, I don't have a time network. limit. Any, sorry, I don't have a time limit anymore today, so we can go a little bit later if you want. Well, we'll be finishing after this. Okay, so they move over there for one action, and it doesn't matter now anyways, because they could, they could see you, right? Right. Uh, I'm going to give um one shot. Oh, we already shot. The one Four. guy did. Yeah. He missed, because you're in full cover. Well, I'm in partial. The other one shoots and miss. The third one shoots. Oh, two, hits. Two, hits. two damage at your legs is in cover, so armor three. So its base damage is three. So nothing. Next. Uh, next is your turn. Hector. Um, I mean, I, I hear the gunfire, not real happy about that. And I, I guess I'm going to look Why back. you fools? <laughs> and I, and, yeah, and I say, you know, come on, come on. And I'm going to run. <laughs> I'm just going to run. You're going to run off the map. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I got. I have no weapons. There's nothing I can do in reality. Okay. Um, but so it's just free action. Tell them to, you know, come on, come on. And just get out of there. Um, you know, head down. You know, trying to make sure that I have a, 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 a small profile as I'm you know, running towards uh, uh, the, the tree line or something. And uh, Mike. Um, one second. You're right by the fence. One second. Um, I'm just I'm modifying my magazine real fast to be accurate of how many rounds I should have left. Oh, it didn't count one of them? No, no, no. Um, because this is probably... Uh, uh, Kai, your character is... Hector. It's probably Hector's uh, pistol, right? So he, yeah. he yeah, fired it's Hector's some pistol. Before. Yeah. So yeah. I think uh, I, I should fired, have 11 rounds right now. I fired Five, two. I actually fired three times because I fired twice a single shot. And then I did the um, kind of suppression fire. And then I used and um, seven rounds, ammunition. Right? Oh, seven. that was a, uh, seven rounds. Yeah, so I actually used nine rounds out of. You probably have six rounds left, right? Because it's a fifteen. It's a oh, it's a seventeen, 17. round mag. So I, so I have eight uh -huh. left. Makes sense okay. to me. I think I have eight left. Yep, that's right. That's correct. Okay. Um. So. Uh, I face the target. I see that Ensign is in um taking fire. So I'm going to just uh. Just pop out as many rounds as I can with my pistol to hopefully give him some cover. Right, I'm not uh, hoping for hits. I'm hoping for suppression right now. Um, can I? Which can I see the one closest to us? Yeah, you got full view of them. Okay, so yep, I'm gonna fire the pistol at that one. Uh, I'm gonna aim. Uh, so no minus one. Um, the range is probably going to be medium, which is plus one, uh, negative one. And uh, uh, rate of fire is going to be max, which is two. Bro. And I'm going to push. Okay. Uh, you can't. Oh, you got another dice. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you can, but that would be like a jam automatically. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna pass. As you in, I'm gonna it, keep you, this you, roll. You at least got a suppression. I got the suppression, yes. I got the suppression. And then I'm gonna make my uh, two moves, and I'm gonna yell over at Ensign. Uh, get over here. Quick, quick, quick. I'm covering you. Fighting retreat. <laughs> That's it. 
Okay, Anson's turn. Okay, which one dropped? Or did he drop from no, the suppression? The closest one, uh, I think this one, right? Right here. Yeah. The single oh, one? Okay. Yes, that one, the one that's spinning. Okay. All right, so uh, then um, I'll do the unaimed uh, shot uh, at, ba it, basically it's gonna be a, a, a hex suppression. So I'm not firing at an individual, I'm firing at a hex. Okay. With the rate of fire and see if I can get both of them to drop. Okay. Um, and, and so that's that's what I'm doing. And if I get a hit, then it's just gonna be a random person I'm in that hex, and so there's two of them. All right, so AK-74, uh, send it to chat, and, and to attack, and there's still one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, Ranges five, so then that's, no, it's six, okay. Um, and then, so that short range, uh, the not called shot is a negative two, and then I'm gonna throw two rate of fire in there to try and get a suppression. Okay. Roll it up. Yep. And push it. See if I can get some better. Yeah, that did it. Nice. Roll. That um, makes both of both of them need to make the cuff. Yeah, first one. Got it. Second one. No, so one guy is cut. Okay. Better than nothing. And then I'll use my fast action to... Um, you can go to run, this side run, of the run fence. To, run to that side of the fence, and I'm going to roll my mobility to try and go through the fence. Okay. To catch up to these guys. Um, so let me do that. Uh, can can you do that, Sinjuri, to use your slow action, though? I'm just I, wondering. This, it's I'm it's using a fast the fa action to open the door and... Uh, that would be the same as opening a door. So basically you can't, but I would let you do it. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I thought the mobility is part of the fast action is just pushing it. It doesn't say nothing about opening doors, right? True. Yeah, that's true. And this is considered a door. Pushing yeah. Door. You got to open up the fencing that's cut and get through it, right? Okay. Stopping mm -hmm. your movement. Squeeze through. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you're, okay. Well, anyway, so is, is there a negative then to do it? No, you don't got no backpack on. Okay. Then here's the mobility roll. Okay. You make it through. All right. So I'm on the side of the fence with Mike. Okay. We'll say that uh, since they're uh, cuffed, there's some more guys over here that come. This one guy is looking at those guys and doesn't want to move without them. So he just goes up one and goes prone, but holding his weapon in your direction. Um, you guys are going to go out. Uh, roll me recon. Okay. Each of us, correct? Uh, whoever's got the lowest recon. Uh, um, I've got a D. I've got a B and C. So, uh, give me a sec here. Uh, just specifically in recon, though. I just actually my, yes. yeah. uh, my my recon's a D. The lowest rolls. Okay, so my if I roll recon, it goes up against my intelligence, was it which is an A, so it'd be a D and an A. What's your intelligence, Hector? Uh, it's a, it's the same. Uh, I've got an intelligence of A. So, I guess it's. Six Either one. And one half dozen. Yeah. Why don't you yeah, go ahead? And roll go ahead. Hector. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hector's sure. New. Go ahead. Yep. Go ahead. Right. Uh, recon. Uh, any modifiers on that? No. Nope. Okay. Nice. One. And uh, nice roll. I'm just going to see if this guy can uh, find your escape. Yeah, so he cancels it out. 
So he sees you going down the field and into the trees. Mm. And I'm just going to make them say, guys, they didn't, they just canceled out. Guys, they're gone. Just let them go. We'll get them in the future. Let them go. We'll go back to vegan. Let him tell us what to do. And they back off as you guys run into the trees. Okay, I get it. That recon role was not finding something. It was the opposed moving role. stealthily away. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, you're trying to hide yourself and they're trying I get to it. find I get it. Yeah. I think you use it for, for it. both. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like we're ducking down through the tall grass, right? And right. Trying that's to why find the, and that's why the person with the lowest winds up rolling because you're the yeah. noisiest. As it yeah. were, and that could have been either and, one and, of us, honestly. And at least capable of finding, yeah, at least capable of finding like a stealthy path, uh, path and, and finding and, correct cover. And it could just be you're unlucky. You stepped on the twig. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you guys gonna go back to the truck? Yeah. So the plan is to do the the end around to get back yeah. to the truck. Okay. Do we guess to, through the trees? I don't remember what was left in the truck, honestly. I don't think so. It, you, but you got it, the, you got your truck sheet. Yeah. Should be on there. Let me take a look. Uh, let's see. It but, would be under players? Your pickup truck. Yep. Should pickup be there. truck had, let's see, cargo. We have uh, M1911A1 that's sitting in there. There's a club. Uh, some ammunition, but that's that's it. Other than <laughs> not great. Well, technically, technically, it's uh, is that literally? It, it's a technical though, because so we could pull the M two two if they didn't uh, if they didn't uh, scavenge the M two forty B off of it, because it's the the technical pickup where it has the machine gun on the back. If they didn't, because I, I do that remember that we we got it. We had a conversation last time when we were driving that we had it working or something. Yeah. Remember well, it, the point is, is if they didn't grab that, technically we can use that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's you're not going to be hip firing that per se, but you know, could always crash the fence, and or just shoot them from the pickup from outside the fence line, because you know. 240 in a rate of fire. Anyway, just some well, thoughts. We have to I, we have to get there first. <laughs> well, you, let's just say you make it back to the truck, and uh, the dog Joe is wagging his tail. He looks hungry. He's hey, like, buddy. He's inside the car. He's happy to see you. <laughs> Take a quick inventory Probably. of uh, what's in the in the truck. Is what's in the truck on the sheet what's in the truck, or did they yeah, take yeah. away stuff? No, they didn't find a truck. Oh, okay. So no, she okay. must have. I found the truck. truck. <laughs> yeah, actually, Was, Eva went towards the base on her own to check on you We were guys. gone too long. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. 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 What, um, we'll say you question. figured that out by looking at the yeah. tracks. Okay. Uh, and what happened to the colonel because last i think we had left him zip tied with ava oh i guess uh he was in the back of the truck right. uh he's frozen solid and dead <laughs> <laughs> no mo no truck heater nobody to come and get him yeah no, no. Wow. no. sorry Ign ignominious end all right, so all right, so we have uh, you can if uh, Mike uh, or you want to give uh, Hector back his pistol, and then you can mm -hmm. take the M nineteen eleven A one out of the truck. Okay, so I, I unless you over... unless unless you want the AK, and I'll take the M nineteen. Uh, I don't mind either way. All right, well, why don't you take the M nineteen and 
you know, the club if you want the club for another weapon. And then you can be in charge of the uh, M240 um, as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm, um, I'm going to hand over the pistol back to you. Uh, it's it's out of rounds. It's empty. Uh, the uh, The magazine is still inside the gun, but no more rounds left. So I hand what? it over to you. I, I nod a thank you. Like, uh, thanks for letting me use it. Uh, and thank you for helping us. And then I'm kind of uh, picking up the gear from the car uh, while we're deciding on what to do next. Was that police pistol? Was that 45 ammo by chance? No, I, I, I thought That's it was a, 9 by 19. Oh, was it uh, 9, it's a nine millimeter. millimeter? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. all we got in the truck is 45. No, I, well, I don't, let's see. It depends on what Omega says about this because, you know, the starting gear for my character, I, I just, I rolled it and I, I should have three um, reloads, but I mean, that's up to if Omega no, wants to, to you, man. allow I'm me not, to have I'm three reloads. Yeah. You should have yeah, like okay. a, yeah. a bunch of stuff because you've been. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Just whatever you want to yeah. guess that you have oh. in your survivals, you can have. Okay. Yeah. I think I would have picked this up from, from a township police station, you know, along the way over here. Um, and, you and scrounge too. ammo. You got yeah, rations yeah. too. Yeah. So, yeah, so te- technically, I, I have my camera. I've got some film. I've got um, two rations. I've got a I got a toolkit, which I'm assuming is what allowed me to cut through the fence, and also build uh, the bomb, um, which was probably from some dynamite that I found along the way somewhere. Um, I presume, and then um, yeah. I probably used uh, all the explosive equipment that I had for that for that weapon. Um, it, it's possible. I don't know what you guys think, but it, it, it since I saw, I, I've been sort of scoping this area out, right? I've been um, kind of on the run, and I realized something fishy was going on. When I saw your truck, I actually tried to investigate. I was watching um, your, I guess your, um, what's the uh, name of the of the uh, of your female partner again? Doctor, Anna yeah. Rose Eva. Dr. Ava, Ava, yeah, yeah Ava, sure. all right, yeah, Ava, Ava, yeah, so I probably saw her, but I didn't approach, I was probably surveying to kind of get a sense of what was going on, so I probably know your truck, I presume, I mean, can you can you guys lock your truck, or, the, or is your truck, like, just left open? Oh, we had just left it open, because we had left yeah, Ava I mean, and the lieutenant colonel in it, so I'm sure, yeah. unless she locked it on her way out, but I, I'm saying I'm just that gonna it's say, open, so I'm yeah. assuming it's open. Yeah. It's okay. open. Yeah. No, nope. it's open because I waited a while before I came to find you guys. So I'm being a, a sort of, um, I think my character would have um, given your dog some water and probably tried to throw a blanket on it so it wouldn't freeze to death. Mm-hmm. And I probably noticed the, the dead body in the back. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, I mean, it's a small thing. some uh, Just, water and rations now. So deduct two. He needs two rations to water. Uh, the, the in the does, car, the there's dog only does, one, yeah. one ration and one but, water. But the Hector has some. Hector oh, okay. has yeah. his personal so I, I, rations. Yeah, I have two rations. Yeah, so I probably would have given some of it to the dog. So what I would have given like one set of water and food to the dog. Is that how I should, how I should mark it down? Okay, right, say, we'll... say you got one left. And a dog's okay. happy now. And you guys, the rest of you guys, haven't yeah, eaten in a while, him. but you're not hungry. You're kind of turned off for food and no desire to eat. And you're not going to suffer any Did, Didn't we eat their stew or whatever they gave us? That was we yesterday. We ate it at the dog? That was yesterday. <laughs> that oh, was okay, the two days is. ago. Yeah. Yeah, right. And are, right. You, okay. are you going to take, take a stress now because you realize what you ate? <laughs> The dawning oh, sort of yeah. creeping realization. That is a you're thinking point. about being hungry and you're literally saying to each other, yeah. yeah, we only like the only thing we ate was that stew from like two days ago. And it's like, oh, the stew. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Ensign and I just throw up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what did we just eat? Yeah, well, they're offering that. Remember last session where you didn't want to eat Anson? That was human stew, too. Yep. <laughs> I, but I, that was one factor. And then the other factor was worrying about them, like, you know, putting sleeping powder type chemicals in it or whatever. I think the only um, one that ate it was, was Danny, right? Because yeah, he, Danny's he chowed character, down on it. 
He yeah. chowed well, down and, on it, and, and, and I was Eric, kind of oh, and it. Eric was doing and, it too. And yeah, Danny's, I was staring it. I, Danny's still in the cage. <laughs> for right now, oh, yeah. man, that's what I'm saying. Yes, we so gotta go back and get him. Think him about. And, but I now, know. yeah, I just wanted to introduce that nemesis character, right? So, but now, whatever you guys free to do whatever the hell you want. So, so. Like, Right. So my thought, at least initially, is now that we have the 240 in the in the truck, is that we can use that to try and do a breakout of Danny because okay. we know where Danny is, at least as of, you know. Sadly, I took resident. inventory and we have no rounds for the M240. What are you talking about? I thought we had a couple of uh, boxes or uh, we have, at least a we belt. We have the 100 round belt, but it says zero out of 100. What? No. Really? So, Dang it. Oh, Omega, I have a question. Since my backstory is that I was basically, you know, scoping this everything out for a couple of days while I was hidey hold here near the truck, right? Using my, my camera, you know, telescopic lens and to, uh, surveillance, everything. That compound seems pretty big. I mean... And they have vehicles, I presume? Does that mean they've got, I don't know, gasoline somewhere? Is there a for fueling station? Oh, yeah. Gas they got, pump? They got vehicles. Uh, this is not their base at all. Mm. This have is I, just do I know where, where they I'll... get their food. That's it. Do I have I have I figured out or do I know where I think their their base is? They come from my the surveillance south. They come from like the, the west. Southwest down the highway. So, so if Hector is telling us this, then it's like, okay, yeah. so then there's going to be periods of time where those troops aren't going to be here because they're going to go back to their base. Sort of like how when we first showed up, it was just the the mother and the daughter. Yeah. And then they can, right? They weren't there before. Right. So she, remember how she didn't respond right away when we were knocking and it was like several minutes. And then, so she could have like radioed him and said, hey, I got somebody or what, or they might've been just on their way. Anyway, the point is, is that if we, if we keep an eye out based on what Hector had already scoped out, then we can look for a time where they bug out and then we can head back in and yeah, uh, try and um, get Danny out and then see if Ava's yeah. still there as well. Uh, that sounds good because I don't think a confrontation with the enemy, uh, especially when we're not with we the don't numbers. have our gear yet. Yeah, with yeah. our low numbers and without our gear. Um, yeah, I think the best choice would be to sneak in maybe at night when they're asleep or right. either when they've left or something. That well, and hopefully, and hopefully it's within the next 24 hours or something because, you know, we're all going to need water and food and we don't mm -hmm. have any of that right now. So... Yeah, and there's some big animals there, <laughs> but yeah. Right. So, mm. so I think yeah. the plan. So I think the plan is, is obviously you know, un unceremoniously dump the lieutenant colonel's body out of the the truck, and uh, the truck is still far enough away from the vegan base that we could like start it up or hopefully start it up and get it running up into idle and hopefully get the heater on yeah sure you get without that. alerting yeah. nearby people offhand yeah <clears throat> say um, you like you're a kilometer away okay um so that was what i would like to do to just at least get the cabin temperature up to speed and then uh do a night's rest for everybody does, and then and then go from there. Does this place have so from what I've seen um during my surveillance, days of surveillance, uh is is this base receiving electrical power? Or is there a generator or are they just using flashlights and kerosene lanterns? Uh both. They do have a generator, but it's not on all the time. Okay. And they got um, batteries. How, and is it is it a big? Ge I mean, is it a is it a big generator, like a big gas generator? Uh, like a gasoline generator? Yeah, gas generator. Yeah. 
okay? Um, I mean, I just these are just things I tell I tell all of you, like what, what I've been seeing, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind yeah. of mentioned you, may, maybe the you know um, if they've got gasoline, the kerosene somewhere that that's flammable. You know, maybe we can start a distraction. Make Molotovs, yeah. type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So right. So, but I think you know. Obviously, you know, we can think more about this as we go. Um, but as far as right now, I, you know, I'm super test, you know, tired and worn out from all this. And we had two days of getting our butts beat. I think a night's rest, at least a shift of rest for everyone in the, you know, warmed up cabin and then shut the truck off. Um, and then with the three of us in, it should keep the temperature fairly well, especially with the doggo with us as well. It's not going to be super comfortable to have us all jammed in there, but... Well, you got yeah. blankets and everything. Right, right, uh, right. Uh, I'm Mike, just talking about we're all going to be mushed in there pretty good. Mike suffered that mental breakdown. Now he has to yeah, pass, so an I'm at full strap. pass an empathy roll. Pass an empathy roll. Okay. Empathy roll. Okay. I do not. I'm going to... Oh, I'm right. I'll push it. No. Negative. So roll 1d10. 1d10. Three. Three. Uh, Sullen, your command and persuasion is minus one. So it steps command down one. Yeah. And persuasion. Is, um, how would I represent that on my character? So, you, if you do, you have persuasion or command. I persuasion. Command under, no, persuasion no. Okay, so n- there's fine. nothing to step down because yeah. you don't have. Oh, okay. One. Okay. And then you just have the like a sullen condition. You're just like it's it's really oh. brought you down. So it's more role playing for my character. I, yeah, anyways. at this point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, as we go to sleep, I'm just kind of reflecting on everything, and then uh, it's knowing that people have died. Seeing a person die in front of me to be eaten has for, somehow wrecked my soul, and never thinking of something like that happening is kind of disturbing for me, and I'm not gonna forget that for a very, very long time. And uh, you all gain uh, three experience points. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this night. Next session, got to brush up on the combat for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, and you guys are you got a lot of thinking and what you got to do. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. Eva's captured. Dan's in a cage in the cage you got no they move food them. you got no water you got no weapons <laughs> right so no it, it's literally it's literally we are forced essentially <laughs> to stay here and try and take this place out to get the food and water that we need because the when we were on the road this there, there's nothing nearby here like mm. as far as like i mean mm. we could hop in the car and go but then we're leaving danny and eva behind for sure so this is very much, at least for us two, you know, I don't know how Hector feels, obviously, being, you know, just recently joined us. But, you know, we have, we have two friends of ours that are, you know, still in that complex and we want them out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, by the way, I have my, my stress is at four or it's at full capacity. Do I lose anything with the by next session or am I still at four? Because I failed the role. You lose, you lose some when you sleep. You gain some health uh-huh. too. I, I, um, I have no health damage as of right now. Yeah, I forget what it is, but okay, you can look it up. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it. At, yeah, or I'll, I'll leave it up. I'll, at by next you. time, I'll have it figured out. But I know yep. you lose. Like you heal and you lose stress. It depends too. If you're gonna spend days there, I'll just bring you to zero. So, yeah, worry about that next time. Yep. Right. So for right now, that's, you know, we're going to be doing the shift to sleep and then. Yeah. Pull it, it in the morning. It looks. 
By the way, it looks like you uh, automatically heal one point of stress and for damage. each full shift Correct. sleeping. Yeah, yeah, so. Ah, okay. There we go. But that's that's you heal, also you... but that's also assuming that you don't have a starving condition slash uh, sleep deprived hypothermia. It, yeah, yeah, because those conditions can prevent you from doing the healing of stress and damage. Makes sense. And so far, as I understand. Uh, Omega, we don't, we aren't suffering at least as of right now any of those conditions. No, you're not hungry at all. <laughs> no, you're living out of fat reserves from all that human <laughs> meat. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's got a lot of calories in it. It'll last you a while. <laughs> you're good. So, everybody, with that, thanks for coming out. And we'll see you next time for Zombie War. Bye-bye. Have a great one, folks. Thanks. Bye.